Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Thursday morning, it is the second day of September. It's good when I'm smiling because I mean, that means there's good news. Yesterday's forecast worked out perfect. The front that brought that robust line of storms uh, through the area uh, has now gone down to the coast. And behind it, some very nice air is starting to filter into the state. The humidity is going to start coming down. The nights will be in the 60s. We're rain-free for a few days. And the Labor Day weekend forecast, well, timing is everything and it looks pretty sparkling to me. We'll also update you on the beach forecast. How long will this, uh, this weather last? We'll update you on when rain will return and a look at the tropics as we are getting close to the peak of the hurricane season. I love it when I have good news for you. That front that brought the robust storms to the area yesterday afternoon has now made it down to the coast. Lower humidity is starting to filter into the area. Dew points later on this afternoon. Well, most of the summer we have dew points in the stuffy 70s. We like 60s. I even see a couple of 50s. Oh my gosh, that is so much better. So sunshine today, lower humidity, storm-free, high of 89. Tonight's low, wow, 66. That'll feel great. North winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour. By dawn tomorrow morning, I see some 60s for lows here in central and south Alabama. I see a few 50s up there in north Alabama. Uh, a great start to uh, Labor Day weekend with sunshine, tolerable humidity on Friday. Uh, temperatures will be, um, you know, temperatures we can handle. Upper 80s with uh, dew points on Friday afternoon near 60, maybe even the upper 50s. Well, that would be, they'll be dancing in the streets of Eclectic. You watch. Great football weather on Saturday. Even lower dew points, I think, on Saturday afternoon. Very comfortable. We'll be near 90, but it's a tolerable 90. And then maybe an isolated storm late on Monday or Monday evening as a frontal system tries to move through the area. We'll kick the rain chances up just a hair on Labor Day Monday with high temperatures around 90, 91 by then, and the better rain chances holding off until the daytime hours of Tuesday. A great Labor Day weekend, all things considered, with rain chances just about nil right on through Saturday. High temperatures near 90 or above, but a tolerable 90. And look at those morning lows in the 60s. Small rain chance late Sunday. Maybe a slightly better rain chance on Labor Day Monday for the beaches from Gulf Shores to Panama City. It's a great Labor Day weekend forecast after several weekends of not so good week of weather at the beach. We're talking about s small rain chances returning on Sunday and a better chance on Labor Day Monday with scattered thunderstorms. High water temperature now at 84. Watch the flags on the beach. Red flags flying at least today through tomorrow and maybe moderate, perhaps maybe yellow flags by later in the weekend. In the tropics, we have uh, Ida still terrorizing the Northeast after an incredible day in the Northeast with tornadoes and flash flood emergencies. Larry will become a major hurricane in the Atlantic and make a little curve northeast of the islands. And Invest 91L is in our backyard. It may have future Gulf of Mexico implications. There's some of the spaghetti plots on Invest 91L. The next available name would be Mindy. Uh, we'll see if uh, that's going to be a problem in the Gulf of Mexico at some point, but not during the Labor Day weekend. The actual peak of the hurricane season comes on September 11th. We still have a lot of hurricane season left. Just a postscript on Ida. Uh, here in Alabama, we got off relatively easy compared to other places. You know, I think we had about 10 or 12 tornado warnings. Uh, there were at least two tornado touchdowns that I know of, one in Pike County, one in Dale County. But did you hear what happened in the middle Atlantic states yesterday from Washington on northward through eastern Pennsylvania and uh, uh, portions of uh, New Jersey and up into the New York City area and Connecticut? Oh, my gosh. Uh, multiple tornado warnings, multiple tornado touchdowns, 16 tornado reports, flash flood emergencies were on ongoing, many roads are washed out. Ida was awful in the middle Atlantic coastal region. So I just want to let you know that comparatively speaking, we did okay from Ida. 
All right, this morning everything's normal. Live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 from our brand new studios. Also live on CBS 8 and ABC 32 this morning. There will be another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. Seems like it should be Friday, but that's because I worked so hard this last weekend covering Ida. And uh, your forecast whenever you want it across the dial on the Blue Water family of stations. Hey, Chase. I'm about to come in there and we're going to go for a walk around the neighborhood here. It's your turn. Have a great day today. I'll see you later.